Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Addition and subtraction of uh, fractions is very important for you in your mathematics n1 and especially when it start to involve algebra whereby it sometimes becomes a bit confusing now i'm given a scenario here it says simplify the following completely and with that i'm given this particular expression now if i can write it down it says 4 over 3a plus 1 over 2p squared minus 8 all over 5ab now if you look at this expression as i said it um it involves some algebra and you are supposed to simplify this and there is a simpler method that i always um, encourage students i'm going to show you two different methods of approach and it is up to you how you, you you are going to choose which one is best now the first method of approach um, which i always recommend first is i'm given now um, to start with my fraction uh, i'll be having my 3a and then i'm going to extend my line now to say with that 3a what i have is this particular 3a i'm having my 4 i'm going to multiply it now, what am I multiplying it? I'm going to multiply it by the denominators, which are separate. So I'm going to multiply it by 2p squared by 5ab. See what I'm doing? But what I do at the top, I do at the bottom. And it's 2p squared times 5ab. So I multiplied by the opposite denominator i mean the denominators of the other fractions and then i do the same thing and then i say plus now i have got one over two p squared so i also must multiply but what must i multiply it by the other denominators in this case it will be 3a times 5ab and 3a times 5ab i think you see what i'm doing i'm multiplying it by the other denominators of the other fraction again lastly i'm having 8 all over 5ab i also must multiply but now what am i going to use to multiply this i'm going to multiply it by the other denominators like that so i'm multiplying by 3a times 2p squared and 3a times 2p squared it looks a bit long but um, this is uh, the way it can be simplified and then with that i need then to move on and say how do i go about this i have to simplify multiply the top and multiply the bottom the numbers multiply each other for example 4 times 2 times 5 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 5 I have got my 40 and then I've got b squared times b there is b to the power 1 which means there are three of them and then the a is 1 and following the alphabetical order it will be a and b to the power of 3 all over now 3 times 2 this is 6 and then 6 times 5 I have got my 30 and then I've got my a this is a to the power of one so a and a it will give me my a squared and again b squared and b it will give me my b to the power of three 
So that is the first part. Let's move to the second part and I want you to, not, to notice something. Now 1 times 3 times 5, I'm going to get my 15 and then AA is A squared. Remember A to the power 1, A to the power 1, they are now 1 plus 1, they are 2. And then after that, I've got only 1B all over. Now 2 times 3, which is 6, 6 times 5, it is 30. Now b squared times b, this power 1 is b to the power of 3, as well as a to the power 1 times a to the power 1, it is a squared b to the power of 3. I hope you're already noticing something. Um, the last one is a times 3 is 24. Now 24 times 2, I think it's 48. You can test that with your calculator. Um, it is the same as saying 6 times 8. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 8 is 42, which is correct. And then I've got only 1a there. And b squared all over. Now 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2, which is 30. And then a is 1 and a there, which is a squared. And b to the power 1 and b squared, which is b to the power of 3. And I think you noticed well. You can see that same denominators, same denominators, same denominators. So the main part of this particular simplification is for you to match the denominators. When the denominators are matching, actually, that is the reason why I was using that method. So I will encourage you to use that method. It simplifies everything because after that, what you will actually be having is you will now write your denominator as 30 a squared b cubed and then you combine now everything this will be 40 a b cubed you just add the top plus 15 a squared b minus 48 a b squared so this is basically the simplified version well i think it can move on to take out what is common in this case, what is common, we can actually look at, um, I can see a is common there, and a squared, and a. So we can actually take out a being common. And again, we can focus on b. I can see b cubed, b and b squared. We can actually take out b being common there. So it will become my 40, b squared, plus... 15a minus 48b all over 30a squared b cubed. I was just simplifying, but you can always test uh, later whether our answer is correct. You can now cancel ab, which will cancel the 1a there, and b will remain as 2, which will be your 40b squared plus 15a minus 48b all over 30ab squared. Fine. This was supposed to simplify to that. But what I'm interested in, I'm interested in, let's say it went to that, but I'm interested in this version of the answer, which I think we can test it. Now, how do you test this answer? What you do is, remember it says, test your answer. There is the part which says, I need to test this particular answer. Now, how do I test this answer? What I do is, I come here and say, put a, a kind of a box for testing. I say, let my A equal to for example can choose 2 and my b be equal to 3 you can also choose any number for value of a for value of b you can just choose any number but you must maintain where there is a you put the value of a where there is b you put the value of b so what i'm actually going to be doing then is in this case i'm going to be taking this value of a i will put where there is a 
and this value of b i will put where there is b so i'm going to do that with the calculator now i'm going to be punching the original so you can see it's 4 over 3 now remember my a is 2 plus 1 over 2 now it's b squared remember my b is 3 squared minus 8 over 5 my a is 2 and my b is 3 now if i done that let me look at my answer is 41 over 90 so i know my answer here is 41 over 90 so with that answer let me go to my final answer here to my final answer here this was my final answer if i can just use this was my final answer i can test it to see that i'm getting the answer at the top if it matches it means then i simplified well take that so i'm going to use is only one fraction but i've got my 40 in bracket remember b is 3 squared plus uh, 15 in bracket a is 2 minus 48 b remember is 3 and then i'm dividing by 30 bracket a is 2 and b squared is 3 squared and what is my answer is 41 over 90 i'm also getting here 41 over 90 so now remember i got my 41 over 90 in the first part here when i substituted and i'm getting also my 41 over 90 in the second part then it means my answer is correct so this is a way whereby you can solve a fraction after solving it you can even prove that is correct so as i said this is one way in which you could have solved this one but i can actually um, show you i'm not going to finish it up in a way if time allows but i can show you the second version of how you can work this out out so you are having your 4 over 3a that is method 2 now and plus 1 over 2p squared minus 8 over 5ab now check out this method uh, whereby what i do is i focus on these denominators i focus on these so that what i'm going to have here is i'm going to rule off and write them as they are i will have 3a i will have 2p squared i will have 5ab so that is um just take them as they are and then what i'm doing now i'm going to have then in the first part i have got four now the four as you can see what i'm actually doing is i'm going to be dividing from the first one i'm going to be dividing the denominator which is 3a 2p squared 5ab divided by 3a so in actual fact i'm going to write what is not 3a so i'm going to put a bracket not write the 3a i'm going to write the part of the denominator which does not have 3a which is that i do the same thing I say 1 now there is 2p squared I avoid 2p squared and write 3a in bracket and I also have 2 actually remember I have 2p squared so I must not write 2p squared I must write the part of the denominator which does not have 2p squared because my denominator is 2p squared minus 8 I have got 5ab so I can write 3a 
and I can write 2p squared. You can see that also it kind of uh, simplifies that, whereby I can write it simplified once like that. When I've done that, and then I can move on to try to simplify it further, say 4 times 2 times 8. Now 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 5, I have got 40. And then b squared, and that b will be b cubed. There is power 1 there, and there is a, so it's a b cubed. And then plus 1 times 3 times 5, which is 15. A times A is A squared. And if I did well, it's AB in that case. And if I move on, minus A times 3. Now A times 3 is 24. 24 times 2, which is 48. A um, B squared. There. And divided by what? Now it's 3 times 2. Now 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 5. It is 30. Now A and A will give me A squared. And B squared and B will give me B to the power of 3. So you can see that it's more like it's got less steps, but you need just to be careful with the way you approach it. And then when you have done that, you can then move on to do what we did previously. You take out your A so that you'll be having, I mean, actually it was not only A. We are taking out um, A, B in this case. You're factorizing out A, B and you had 40 B squared plus 15A minus 48B all over, I think it's 30A squared B cubed. And then you can further cancel out that AB. The A will cancel. Um, okay, the only one A will remain. And then the B, there will be 2 there. So that you can have then that particular answer. But now the key thing is, I wanted to show you, you can simplify further is, you can also apply this method and it will also give you the same answer. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.